common mistakes with your shoes that are making your legs look cut off. Hi, my name is Chi, I'm 5'2 and my legs are short. I returned so many shoes because they were making my legs look even shorter. Let's get right into it. Slides cover too much. So many women like to wear this kind of slides in the summer, but they are not that flattering, especially if you have shorter legs like myself. The more they cover your feet, the more cut off they will make your legs look, and the less they cover your feet, the longer they will make your legs look. Because now, this looks like this part, the top of your feet, is an extension of your legs. So if you want your legs to look elongated, go with slides that come up lower on your feet. If you're petite, make sure you check out my clothing line at petitedressing.com for women under 5'4". Ever since That's I discovered like petitedressing.com, my style went from this to this. Now I'm in the game, I was on the bench, on the bench spinning on the back like here I go again. Square toe. I talked about this in my other videos, but I have to say it again because square toe is dominating this season. I ordered so many sandals and I couldn't find one pair that didn't come with square toe shape. Here is the thing. If you're talking about square toe loafers, booties, and boots, mm -mm, don't make the mistake I made last time when square toe was super on trend. I ended up donating all of my square toe boots and booties because they were making my legs look so cut off. Square toe sandals, it's a maybe. Because sandals don't cover our feet as much, square toe sandals are not as bad as the other square toe shoes. But here's one thing in common that I noticed with the square toe sandals. A lot of them, this part is too wide. Because this part has so much extra space, it makes it look like I am wearing the shoes that's too big for me, even though I am actually wearing my size. So if you do want to try the square toe sandal trends, make sure you choose the square toe sandals that's not too over exaggerated in the front, like this pair can work. Lace up sandals. I love lace up anything because they can be so feminine and so sexy. But the current trend is long laces, like this. They're so long that they can go all the way up to almost your knees. When you wear lace up sandals like this, you have to go around your calves so many times. That's too many horizontal lines. It's very easy to make your legs look cut off. This is especially worse if your sandals are black laces. If you happen to have wider calves, muscular calves, this is gonna draw all the attention to your calves so you have to ask yourself is that what you really want another thing i noticed with these sandals is the higher they come up on your legs the harder it is for the laces to stay because every time when i walk the lace is gonna loosen up or they're gonna come down like this and really not that flattering so if you really like laces like myself go with moderation go with shorter laces and this is gonna give you a much nicer look Ankle straps. These are so easy to make your legs look cut off. Whenever you wear an ankle strap, a horizontal line right at your ankle, this is gonna stop the flow of the eyes. The eye is gonna think, this is where your leg ends. I've noticed the worst is when your ankle strap is black, and if they're thicker like this, this is worse because they are so noticeable, they are calling out to the eye, and this is guaranteed to make your legs look shorter. But when you get rid of that ankle strap, the eye is gonna continue to go down and it's gonna think your feet are part of your legs. Okay, here is a caveat. Sometimes you may have to wear ankle strap. For example, if your feet are really small, like myself, I have one side four and a half and the other side five. For me, it's almost impossible to walk if my shoes have no ankle straps. So here's a top secret for you. If you're like me, or maybe you just prefer to wear ankle straps because they're easier to walk in, go with the ankle straps that's closest to your skin tone. Nude shoes are the best. You just need to find the shade that is closest to your skin color. You've seen me wear nude shoes a lot in my other videos because they are really leg elongating. Recently, I am also obsessed with metallic colors. If you have warmer skin tone like myself and in the summer you might get a little tan, so you might find metallic colors, especially the gold tone, might look very good on you. If your skin is very fair, you don't tan that much, 
And also if you have cool skin tone, then consider silver. This might look really wonderful on you. Metallics are very easy to dress up your outfit. Even if you are just wearing flats like this, because they have metallic that subtle shine with them, this is very easy to look more elevated in your outfit. Platform shoes. This is a very common mistake with women who love stilettos because stilettos are very hard to wear. It's very tiring for your feet to standing, let alone walking in them. So it's very tempting to think that when you have that thick platform, this is gonna make it more comfortable. That is true to a degree. When you elevate the front of your feet, yes, you are gonna feel more relieved in your feet. But the problem with platform shoes is they add too much bulkness and these are gonna make you look bottom heavy. And especially if you already have shorter legs like myself, you never want to look bottom heavy. So if you feel like your stilettos is too high for you, it's so uncomfortable, you'd rather go lower on your heels than wear higher heels and a thick platform. Wedges. This is another type of shoes so easy to make your legs look cut off. Wedges are very popular, especially with shorter girls like myself. I love wedges, but not all the wedges are created equal. You gotta pay attention to how thick they are. First of all, you don't want your wedges to be too thick. If your wedges are too thick, they are gonna make you look bottom heavy. Yes, just like the platform shoes. Instead of making you look taller, they actually make you look shorter. Besides, I also noticed if the wedges are too thick, they are harder to walk in. And sometimes you might even trip in them if you walk a little too fast. So they can be even a little dangerous. So now you know, these are the common mistakes to avoid if you don't want your legs to look cut off. In the summer, everybody loves a pair of wide denim. Do you know there are some common mistakes that most of us are making with our wide jeans, myself included? Watch this video. Avoid these common mistakes with your wide denim because they're ruining your outfit. 